right, well, I got a sneak peek of some of the stories in the mix today. I was pretty impressed. So we have some big time throwbacks making their way onto the scene. Yes, and I know you're hyped about a concert that's coming up tonight. Oh my gosh, we have to, right? We, but here's the thing. We're also gonna talk about the most expensive seat in the house for a charity event that's gonna blow your mind. Ooh. I've never seen anything like that. Stand by for that. Okay. But first, gotta ask you, you guys ready to take it down south? Yes. A little dirty, yeah. dirty action. So Juvenile is performing tonight. Yes, the Juvenile Cash Money Records is performing tonight at Brooklyn Bowl. He, of course, exploded on the scene back in the day with Back That Thing Up. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing, though. He's performing with the Tiny Desk Band. Now, this is a oh, thing that, like, yes, yes that's a thing that, you like, too. NPR did. Yeah. Yep, totally. Uh, they do, like, major artists, and they, like, put them in an office room and kind of, like, impose them on a tiny desk. So, he, but, but it's, like, like, a real, like, legit band. And, and concert. He, totally. Yeah. And so he, Juvenile, did one about like a year ago uh -huh. that just totally like went viral. Yeah. And now there's a whole new surge and everything. Mm. So you're going to see him tonight with the tiny uh, band desk, tiny desk band mm -hmm. live. You get it. VIP yeah. packages are available. We love, we love us some VIP. Yes, yes, we do. Not mad at that, you know. So make sure you check it out, 8 o'clock tonight. Now, here's the thing. So the most expensive, biggest, but intimate charity night I've ever heard of in my entire life for a great cause is tomorrow night. Yeah. So reporting for duty. Now, check out this lineup. Post Malone, Eddie Vedder, The War and Treaty, and Jelly Roll. Crazy lineup, right? Tomorrow night at Uncle Nearest. Now, this is the EB community, which is uh, Leslie Jordan. Remember him? Oh, RIP. Um, so it's his personal calling of a lifetime of service. It's basically like a whole bunch of important charities like rolled up, rolled up all in one. So here's the thing. There's just under 250 seats. Um, again, it's the hottest seat in town. One saloon seat cost $2,500 wow. for one seat. Wow. The platinum seat, $250,000. Dang, you better get a meet and greet for that. Isn't that wow. crazy? You better like, get gold on a plate for like, that. Like, I mean, it, obviously wow. it's for a great cause, yeah. all that, but two hundred and fifty grand. Hey, you know? if I could afford it, I would. 100%. I, yes. Hopefully they raise that for the charity. Yes. This is true. That's all, that's, all, that's all that matters. That's yeah, the most important that's thing. Cool. So we do have a legend live in the flesh, uh, as we always do, at the Ryman, playing his groundbreaking album for the first time, Clint Black. Wow. Now, here's the thing. He, of course, debuted his first album back in 89, so it's his 35th anniversary of that. But now you can see him perform it, like, along with his other classics. And it's really interesting how he's never really performed that album, like, front to back or anything until now. So huh. you can be there for, for a historic night, Sunday night. And tickets start at just 35 bucks. Oh, I can afford that, at least. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> that I can do. Sunday night. Make sure you check that out. So on Wednesday, uh, we learned that both of you, both of your first CDs were Mariah Carey. Yes. So I thought you'd be excited about this news. Ariana Grande and Mariah Carey just put out a collaboration, a duet of Ariana Grande's single called Yes And. It just, just came out at midnight. It's already like going like crazy and wow. blowing up. So Ariana's been very, just she's, she's idolized Mariah Carey mm -hmm. and has always wanted to work with her. So this is kind of a dream come true. So it's pretty neat, you know? That's cool. Yeah, yeah so. I'll have to go take I was a pumped listen. when I heard about that. No yeah. doubt, you know? So shout out to Mimi for that. Now here's the thing, we have some big news that got even more official, Morgan Wallen just announced his bar and restaurant right. is officially opening this summer. Now we knew this was coming, but now we have a target date and we got some more details. It's gonna be called This Bar, I think that's a cool name by the way, mm -hmm. it's gonna be called This Bar, uh, six stories, live music of course, right there on 4th Avenue, like on the corner, kind of adjacent to the, Ry to the Ryman, great location, three stages, six bars, of course a rooftop, it's opening this summer, so get ready party people, because wow. it's gonna be here before you know it. Mm -hmm. The bro that country the is bon real. Jovi bar, I, I mean, know, yes. I know. And we, I heard one of them's gonna be like the tallest. The bon Jovi bon bar. The bon Jovi. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I like that. It's like mixing things up a little bit. Left yeah. country, toes, rock and man. roll. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep them guessing. You yeah. Know? Um, all right. So Wednesday we talked about Katy Perry is leaving American Idol, which right. premieres this Sunday right here on WKRN. Mm -hmm. But and you guys asked, well, who's going to replace her? Well, as the sometimes hardworking pop, cool, pop culture correspondent that I am, <laughs> I had to do some digging. So we heard actually that producers are considering bringing back Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not mad at that, right? ABC is also trying to attract Taylor Swift, who isn't. Mm, uh, the producers do value the current judges, obviously, Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie, but they're open to making changes. Clearly, they probably need like a female presence. Mm. So my question is to you, um, let's pretend J-Lo and Taylor aren't available. If you're in charge of putting the, the next American Idol judge, uh, what superstar woman would you put? I'd like to see Carly Pierce up there. Ooh. I love her voice, yeah. and I think she's a, the real deal, and I'd like to see her mentor others and see how that would go. Okay. Since we have to say a female, I'd say Dolly Parton, but I really want Simon Cowell to come back, baby. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Yes. Cool, good deal. All right, thank you, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be right back.